It's time for another preview of the changes happening at Fanimation. I did a preview of in here. I think most of this has stayed the same. Preview of what's happening in here. Preview of what has happened in here. of what's happening in here. Preview of what's happening in here. Preview of what's happening in here. Hey Andrew, smile for the camera. I said smile for the camera. I'm doing a preview of all the changes that are happening. This is Andrew, who never shows up in public, so I'm making sure to get him. Oh, yeah. Any any secrets you want to expose? Here. This is stuff that's not going to happen anytime soon, but I'll just do a little preview of what might happen in the future based on what's over here. That's a nice motor. <clears throat> oh, and then here's a preview of what's happening over here. So without giving too much away, you want to tell us what you're working on over here? I'm working on what I've dubbed the weed fan. That's true. It was donated generously by, graciously by Lewis Weedman. Great guy, that Lewis Weedman. A very, 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 very queer Robbins and Meyer something or other from, we think, the 30s. Five blades. It's a five blade top mount from the 30s with an integrated oh, fluorescent light. Fluorescent light. It's also electrically reversible. <clears throat> so, yeah, but is, it PC, is there a capacitor? It is PSC, yes. Did you test the, did you ever, have you applied power to the motor yet? I have not applied power to it. I am getting to that okay. very shortly. I think Lewis has tested it, though, so I'm assuming everything is good. It, it does work. Lewis did when he tested it. You so talk, you've talked to him? I haven't talked to him, but I saw his video. Oh, so, I mean, cool. That enough is <clears throat> proof enough for me. Yeah. That's not the label. You want to see. You want to see. That. I thought that was cool, too, though. Funny, it's actually well listed, so, I mean... Yeah, there's that. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> I think this is a, about as much of a preview as we can as we can do. Um, but I'm definitely gonna before I leave, I will do thorough videos of everything that's happening. So keep your eyes tuned. Eyes tuned? Does that even make sense? Eyes so peeled. Sense. Eyes peeled. Stay tuned. Yep. Stay tuned. Eyes peeled. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is the second try of the Upstairs X10 video. I uh, did a video where I attempted to demonstrate it and ran into some issues. So I believe I've solved them and we're going to try again. Um, if you watched that video, uh, I talked about uh, I moved half of the X10 stuff downstairs. So we just have one control and uh, <clears throat> nine modules up here, eight modules up here, excuse me, and then one control and eight modules downstairs. And... Um, uh, if, if we get enough requests uh, to have it like it was up here before with multiple modules and controllers and stuff like that, then we'll bring it back. Otherwise, it'll just be like this. And I think this is, you know, it's still enough for kids to play with and such. So, 16, we're going to go backwards, is the uh, disco ball motor powering the wicker fan. So I'll just turn that on. You can see the uh, chain starts to spin before the uh, 
fan itself. So that's 16. That's always been 16 because I'm not going back up in the sky. <clears throat> 15. It's also always been 15. It's the spotlight of the dentist chair. 14 is that advertisement there. 13. I have these signs here. There's a neon Casablanca sign and an Emerson sign. I don't know what the lights are in there, but they're doing some flickering. So That was what, 13? So 12 is this old Havana right here. 11 is the uh, fan lamp on the table there. The fan's not turned on, but the lamp is. That's what, 11? So 10. There's this display over here. And you can plug in, you know, I might plug in a couple more, but for starters, I plugged in the two that have lights. This is just a uh, lamp made out of a fan that uh, somebody makes. And I found these in thrift shops and stuff, so apparently they're a common thing. And then this little uh, steampunk fan made by Steve Stevens. Okay, so that's 10, and then we're only going to go up to 9 because the other 8 are downstairs. I tried to have more up here, and uh, it wasn't working, so I just went down to 9. Come on, now it's not going to work. Now that I'm filming, it worked again before the filming. Okay, turn everything else off, and now 9 goes on. Try that again. So one, four, five, six, seven. Now let's try nine. Interesting. It won't work with everything else on. Everything else off. That's no, still not working. Good God. What is wrong with it? it, it why does it not want to work when I'm filming? Two videos in a row. Nine hasn't worked, but only during filming. One more time, and then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna have another idea. I'm gonna try. There we go. Okay, I guess it wants... So nine is that whole display over there. Let me turn everything else on. Because that's the way I'm supposed to do it. So nine is this whole display here with four old Havanas and two funeral parlor fans. I might turn these funeral parlor fans off because they're so loud and just have the lights. Okay. Is there a for this one? So for now, maybe I'll just do that. Have the old Havana's on. Let's see if I hit all units off. Will everything turn off? Oh, the funeral parlor fans are still on. Really? I'm going to wait a little bit because it worked after a minute last time. It just needs a minute? Right on. Turn it off. Wait a minute. It just needs, it's got a delay? 
Oh, I don't understand that, so let's turn everything back on again. Now it came on together. Good God. So we'll turn off together. I don't understand it, but I'm going to leave it like this. I'm happy enough with how it's working. Um, yep. I don't know, should I turn those fans up? Should I keep those funeral parlor fans on or just the lights? Because the old Havanas are going to cut on. I think just the old Havanas is fine. I wish there was a way to just have the light on here. There's got to be a switch on this thing. Let's see, there's a vacuum tube stuck into it for some reason. Is this a switch? No, it just goes in there about the base. No, I can't figure out if there is one. Okay. Well, we'll do more videos on the museum updates. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's time for an updated Fanimation stairwell video because we have uh, made some changes to the Casablanca display. So, all we really did was add one fan. That's a pretty big change, and you consider it's a pretty packed house already. So let's get the remotes. So this is how the lights and fans were set earlier. The fans were always on low. I turned the lights on dim so I could take pictures for Instagram. Columbia 2 there is the new addition. So let's uh this might actually be better than uh having the fluorescent lights on. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we got everything on low. Let's go to medium. I think everything went to medium. Wonder can I get everything all in one shot? I kind of can. Okay, let me bring the remotes back to where I had to scoot back to make room for myself. Medium is pretty fast on the four seasons in the Cambridge. Okay, well I'm gonna dare do it. Let's take everything to high. Just because with all that airflow, it's pretty dangerous. It's way too much air. These are all K63 fans except for the Cambridge. So it's way too much airflow. It's uh, bouncing off the walls and stuff. I'm trying to get everything in one shot so we can see for spin down purposes. Looks like the New Orleans is first, which is not surprising given that those have stiff bearings. 20th century second, looks like. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know which one stopped next, the Columbia or the uh, Cambridge. It looks pretty clear that the Four Seasons is going to stop next. Love that little stencil of Four Seasons. Okay, we'll wait for the uh, Broadway.
Clearly Broadway. We'll be doing this for a while, I guess. Okay, so while that spins down, I'm going to do these one at a time. So here's the Four Seasons. Hello. Originally, it was just supposed to be the four fans. That was Tom's suggestion. He wanted the four fans, these four fans specifically in this pattern. And I requested to add the uh, Four Seasons, and then he asked me about a Columbia, and I finally got one. So... Um, the blade brackets on the Columbia are... I had to steal them off another fan, so I need a set of antique brass Zephyr brackets if anybody has one. It's low. Here's medium. Probably still going, by the way. Medium is quite fast on this. And high. I love those shades. They're some of my favorite Casablanca shades. Okay. I might be better off without the light. Let's try. Let's see, what if I turn the lights on the other fans on instead? Really, why is that one not dimming? Oh, they're out of sync somehow. How does that happen? Weird, I don't know how to fix that. Now all three of them are different. I really don't know what to do with this. I'll wait till they're about equal. I'll just do it like that, I guess, because what else do I do? That's too bright anyway, so we'll... we will do it like this, that's fine. Why not? Let's add the four seasons to the mix. There we go. Low. So this one has a stack receiver the Cambridge and uh, 20th Century have stack receivers. The, 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 uh, the, what's it called, New Orleans and Broadway have modified receivers. Low, medium. By the way, if I'm going to be working in the stairwell or coming up and down the stairwell a lot, um, believe it or not, the best fan to have on is the Columbia on medium. It does a very effective job of circulating from that position. I guess it's right over the highest part. High. Off. And wow, that one's spinning down. Low. Oh, fuck. Okay, at least they're all together. What if I try dimming? Are they together now? God. Oh, I'll leave it there. Well, at least the fans are all in sync. It's not like the lights ever need to be on bright. 
million Well, which one is that one? Hi. Way too much wind. Okay, so let's put everything back to low. Here's the way that I left it. And let's turn the lights off. And let's turn the overhead lights on because I'm actually working. What did I hit? Come on, lights. So, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't turn the camera off with the remotes in my hand. Hey guys, we're back at Fanimation. We're going to tour the uh, second floor of the museum, which has some new additions. We're starting with our Casablanca display in the stairwell. I did a separate video of that already, but it's just coo too cool not to start here. I mean, this was Tom's idea. He uh, outvoted my idea, and he was right. His idea was better. Uh, Listen to Tom when he says something. And he just wanted to make a stairwell look like a 70s, early 80s era Casablanca display. So we have now one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Six. Five K63 fans and one K55. And uh, I don't know which would be the oldest. One of the metal flywheel ones, probably. I want to say the 20th century might be pretty old. If it's 20th like century 38. is pretty old, given that it's uh, brass, which was a custom finish. That's a very old Broadway, though, if you look at where the pull chain is out of the bottom, as opposed to in the side. You know, mm -hmm. that's a very that's probably the oldest one. Does that even have a, a variable speed? Oh, what you mean, K63? It's or? K63, but is it single speed K63 or is there a knob? Anyhow, I don't even see a knob, so that might definitely might be the oldest one that predates. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no knob in that. Knob in what? The 20th century? Okay, the uh, Broadway. Oh. Yeah, I think that predates. I think it's a single speed. If you look at, there's definitely no pull chain. Yeah, nothing on the other side either. Interesting. Okay. So now, so anyhow, this is the new edition, the Columbia Two, and uh, uh, my arch nemesis. Uh, Chandru Goldsmith, as I believe we're calling him, installed this. Um, yeah, that was a load of fun, let me tell you. Well, the thing about it is, is that's specifically why I brought him here, because I didn't feel like going up above the ceiling anymore, and he offered to do it. Once we actually got here, he chickened out just a little, because it was, you know, a little bit more dangerous than I think he had anticipated. It's not necessarily dangerous, but just finding the right height and ladder. I did it with the other uh, five fans, so he can do one. So. We're back here in the museum, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go through it. We'll, we'll turn the new fans on first, we'll go through those one at a time, and we'll add the other ones into the mix. So, um, first new fan here is the long scroll classic one from New Orleans. We'll turn that to low. Mm -hmm. um, I've done individual videos of all these so you can see them, uh, you know, more details and together. Um, Next new addition is this Sondergaard Engineering fan that was a prize on Wheel of Fortune in 1980. Or as we call it, the Wheel of Misfortune fan because of how difficult it, it was to... Who does? I call it that due to the difficulty involved in getting it together and up. It wasn't really that bad. It was a normal K63 hassle. The West Winds um, Sedona, which is a, which is a 20th <laughs> century cafe, and... Uh, was definitely made by Supreme fan. Whether or not they're actually the OEM, we don't know. Made um, by whoever made Supreme. Right, exactly. Whether Supreme was the factory or just an importer, it's made by them. Mm -hmm. So, put them all on low, and we're good. Oh, 
forgot to mention, somebody had asked for us to do remote roulette. Unfortunately, we can't do that because the remotes are all labeled and uh, placed by the fans. So, um, next new addition is, uh, what row? Oh, the classic fans. It's so hard. There's so many fans in here. Classic fans have the original copy. Liberty, uh, Liberty something, I can't remember the whole model name, but it's Liberty something, and it's uh, sold through JCPenney, cut crystal, mm. pretty cool. Next one would be the, let me close up, heat sidebar, display of the glass, which we moved in place of the relight, the relight motor winding started to go. And I debated trying to fix it or replace it with another relight, but I've had so many requests to power up the heat cycler that it just seemed like the right thing to do. Everybody here yeah. helping, Andrew and Mark and Emmanuel and Metal Pete all agreed. Um, now the Cali Fool's Gold. Yeah. Um, I've had some people already commenting in my videos claiming that this is not accurate. It is. This is Everything about this is, is exactly like the real Cali Gold except for the... Uh, rings and the badges would be 24 karat gold instead of polished brass. And the blades are from an airflow, so they're not exactly what you would find, but close enough. Well, they're Casablanca blades. Either way, yeah, so. Hunter Blanca, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't Hunter back then. True, true, true. You don't have to be contrary with everything you know. So, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in the museum, and it's the only reason I put out the band there. was he was willing to donate <laughs> his, uh, Chrome my fan. Ooh, shiny. It's, um, guys, it's one of my all time favorite things here. And, uh, I've been trying to get, get one of these for years. And, uh, when I found out that he had one, um, you know, it was only a matter of time. Oh, yeah. So, what's next? I guess we can go this way. So we can Chrome. We have the, uh, Kodak was a TC series, which is TC. the same as the Moss WF series. Essentially the same thing. Yeah, it's just Moss was having ViewFan make these, and then when Moss didn't pay ViewFan, they moved on to using TAT, and uh, then so then ViewFan sold their design to Kodak, and that's how you ended up with this. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, Moss was known for stiffing people. So. Oh yeah. This is not technically a, a new fan of the museum, but I'm going to include it because it's got the add light kit um, at Homestead Universal. I saw this integrated light in the Homestead catalog in the 90s and just had to have it, and so I'm super excited to finally have it. And in Paws Brass, which is my favorite version, favorite uh, finish for the wind. Gunmetal is up there too, though, but it's definitely cooler than the painted finishes. Um, I think last of the new stuff. Another the, one uh, that was rearranged. Oh, yeah. The rod, you've got the Encon CG. Yep. Yeah, this was Andrew's idea, and I thoroughly approved to move the Encon here so you can get a better look at the ornate castings. And then we moved the uh, uh, Canada new fan to right there so you can get a uh, better look at that because it's got more space around it. So oh, that's what he Canada. So speaking of Canada, here's a Tatong Hugger that is Canadian. Oops, wrong remote, sorry. That is Canadian style, but it has the American, the U.S. style reverse switch, so who knows? It was found near the Wisconsin-Canada border. Um, is that it for the new additions? No, uh, there's the CEC, but it's not powered, but okay. might as well include yeah. it anyway. Sure, we can go ahead and show. One of my all-time favorite industrials is the CEC. I got this in trade with a friend of Andrew's, so he brought it to me, and he's, I actually bought one off of him, too, that needs some work. So as soon as he can get that to me, then I'm going to video and test it. In the meantime, I thought it was cool enough to go up in place of the relight. Technically, the heat cycle was there, but we swapped it around. It doesn't look like much, but it's a sleeper. It looks like much to me. I like. I, I think those are really cool looking fans. So. I mean, it looks like a plain little industrial, but it moves a metric ton of air. It's so, not what um, it appears. Let's go around again and, and, and put everything on medium as I did on the... Uh, bullpen video. We'll just go, uh, go I'm going to take all the new stuff through all the speeds. What is this? Oh, I'm 
control. Oops, it's low, west winds. This is the only one that has a modified receiver in here, by the way, as far as the new stuff. Oh, and the classic and the uh, uh, classic fans also has a modified receiver. Didn't you modify the one for the 1930s as well, or is that stock? I'm about the new stuff. Sorry. Ah. I thought I thought I said that, but maybe I didn't. I'm delirious to lack of sleep. Yeah, it tends and to happen. A little bit about the work schedule if you come here to work. Not for Foundation, for the museum. Yeah, yeah. If you come here to work, it's start early and then leave early. It's kind of like that. You end up... You pretty much end up staying here late into the night, which is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, but I mean... A lot of things get done. It's rather grueling. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. I am, uh... If you, I, I appreciate I got anyone one. coming to help me. You got it. Yep, game. got it. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Even if you're working for free, I'm still a slave driver. I still expect you to work as hard as I work. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a privilege. It's absolutely a privilege to, uh, um, to work for the museum. And whether you're volunteering or getting paid. And, uh, uh, I, I don't know if Andrew quite expected the grueling schedule that I, that I expected of him. But that's the only way to get everything done that we want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, there's just simply no other way to put it on the week. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I'm going to start putting it to high. Start with the long scroll. Yeah. And, uh... I posted a Facebook status. I think I've drank more energy drinks this week than I have the rest of my life combined. This has been even a little more grueling than usual, both because we had both group trip and the museum work. And work on the downstairs museum. I already, I already moved along school high. No, you didn't. I, put, I think maybe my mistake. You either didn't hit it or you didn't hit it enough time because it doesn't always click. Yeah, sometimes it takes a couple hits. Um, yeah. Plus, even though Andrew's been a tremendous help, in some ways it's more work having him here because he'll start some project on his own and then it becomes a two-man job in one way or another. So, you know, so then I end up essentially doing double the projects, even with help. We had Mark Wilson, Emmanuel, and uh, Metal Pete here earlier in the week and they were a big help too. And Brian. Brian can't fans. Do you use the tattoo? No. Do you use the tattoo? I think it's everything. Mm-hmm. So before I hit the switch, do mass spin down. I'm going to see if I can gauge which is the most powerful of the new fans. If I just had to guess without actually checking, I would think it would be the heat cycler or the knife fan. Yeah, it's split between those. Um, it's hard to tell because the JC Kennedy's right here with the heat cycler, so it's kind of cheating. I have a heat cycler, I can vouch for its power. Yeah. What would you say, heat cycler or the chromi fan? Uh, it's really hard to tell. Heat cycler is pretty fast with normal pitch. Yeah. And yet the eye fan runs off a very high speed with lower pitch. The eye fan looks smaller than 52 as well. I'm pretty sure it is 52. Might be 50, okay. I mean, can we can... Get, how much can you get in one shot so we can do the spin down? Okay, first thing I want to think about... This is, is this the only fan that's spinning of the, from Airflow? That's nope, it. The no, Studio. the Hunter Studio is spinning from Airflow, and uh, yeah, it's, it's the Century. Or not the Century, the Centennial. It's always kind of cool to see which fans uh, are easily influenced. Okay, well, let's do a mass spin down. You want, you got any bets on, on winners and losers? Um, I've seen this, so I would have to say out of all the fans running... It's gonna be, it's probably a split between the iFan and the Heat Cycler. 
for last? Yep. Okay, what about what about the loser? Well, who's that? The loser will probably be the West Winds because of its bearings. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with you on West Winds. And uh, for your for winner, you said Heat Cycler. What was it? Oh, the Hunter's spinning now. The Hunter designer, designer's choice is spinning now. Oh, yeah, true, um, true, true. What, what did you say? The split between iFan and Heat Cycler okay. is being last. I'm going to hedge your bet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you on West Winds. I can't think of another one that would stop first. But I'm going to say that the Chrome Codec is going to stop last. Because those plexiglass blades are really heavy. I would tie it between the heat cycler and the chrome codec only because we did do this with the group trip and the heat cycler stopped quite later than I was expecting. I was really shocked at how long this one had ran for. Yeah, mine has a very long spin down time you know as well. What? I'm going to hedge my bet two ways. Okay? Chrome codec for winner and loser, I'm going to give it to the Tatum. Just, just so that we're not guessing the same stuff. Okay then. Uh, I think you're probably right about Heat Cycler and West Winds, but like I said, I'm ahead to bet. Five, four. Okay. I should have put the New Orleans in there too, because that those four bearing that four bearing system is uh but too late now. Mm-hmm. I've got my eye on uh on the New Orleans and the Tatum, if you keep an eye on the West Wind. It does look like the West Wind is coming first. The New Orleans is giving it a run for its money. I think I lost the Tatum. Okay, mm -hmm. New, or New Orleans stops first. How about that? New Orleans. Yep. It's amazing how hot it gets the second chance to go off. And then the West Wind stopped after that. Ten seconds, so I didn't lose the Tatum. The, uh, this one, the Wheel of Fortune is still going. Yeah, interestingly enough. Well, because I completely, I took apart oil the bearings and, and cleaned the center shaft and realigned yep. it. Yeah, I was way off. The task Next one to fly. stop will probably be the yep classic fans. Yeah, I was gonna guess that, but it actually seemed to do pretty well when I did an individual test of it. Next one to stop will probably be yep West Winds. The what? West Winds has stopped. Yeah, no, not West Winds or Sunderguard. Wheel of Misfortune. You know what yeah. I'm talking about. I hope. <laughs> Still going. Yep. Uh, gold is still going. Fool's gold's going, yep. Here's the funny thing though. What? If I found an actual, you know, complete original California gold museum, yeah. I I still have to convert it to um to single speed, so it's almost better. That, that we have the one made for parts. Yeah, because doing what you just described would be rather sacrilegious. I agree. I mean, it could be easily converted back, but I, I agree. I mean, you also could just find the uh, comfort touch. It did come comfort touch, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just use that it. remote if you have it. Yeah, but I mean, with all the RF signals in this building, I want yeah, to Yeah, but I'm pretty sure CT might be rather proprietary. And Got it. Fool's Gold has ended. Got it. I doubt it's proprietary in terms of frequencies. They only had so many frequencies back then. JC Penny has ended. Yep. Wind is still going. Yep. Both chromes are still going. Indeed. And the heat cycle is still going. And I'm pretty sure last <laughs> or next to stop will be the Tatong. Oh, I forgot Tatong. Yeah, I, I lost big on the Tatong. I won't mind telling you. That's what I get trying to hedge my bet. <laughs> I think I'm not happy though on the Chromes. The Chrome iPhone is about to stop. And the Chrome Boda. Yeah, Chrome iPhone is done. Hmm. So the wind is going to stop next. So it's between the Chrome. Uh, okay, Tatung is stopped. Wind is. getting close. Yeah. What's crazy to me is that some of the fans that are just blowing in the wind. Yeah. Like the, uh, the Hunter Studio just stopped too. Yeah. So, let's see here. I mean, I know I said the Fasco 2. Wind 2 has stopped. I said the Fasco 2, but I can't really count that. So I'm hoping that the Fasco stops first. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping my eye on you before I'm filled up. It's a cast iron motor, I'm telling you. Those things generally have long spin down times. As long as the bearings are, you know. Indeed. But it's not because of the cast iron motor. We have plenty of cast iron motors in here. It's because of the um, yeah, the plexiglass being a little yeah. heavier. Oh man, so close! Stop, heat cycler, hurry up! No, but I think you have this one. Well, no, because you took the i fan, so we, we, we both. I said it was a tie between the i fan and the heat cycler, so it was kind of like either one, and that's ended. So. Okay. So.
So let's do the same thing now. I was only I was half right. Let's have, let's do the same thing now, but let's have it do with all the fans and not just the new ones. So part of it's gonna suck because we turn everything back off again. It's on high. So when I turn the switch, it's gonna all go to high. Indeed. So that'll be. Or actually, just turn them to low. It's probably easier. It's not like they need to go off. They just need to go. Things. Where did the classic remote go? It's on top of one of these things. Top of one of the. Okay, there it is. Mm hmm. Much, yeah. Okay, well, sir, it's beginning. Come here, that's you. I've been very off to where the museum begins. So we'll start with the hair on, which is the Juvenation fans. Now that you've seen one in person, what do you think? It's pretty accurate, pretty decent quality reproduction. Yeah, it moves some air. It actually do move air. It's just Contrary to popular belief, I think they're, you know... Half decent, yeah. Part of the reason why they're so expensive is because they're damp rated, which is with polished finishes. Finishes? That finishes, yeah, that gets expensive. It gets really expensive. Have to heavily lacquer that, yeah. So, Wheel of Fortune's on low. Centennial. Anton Six Blade. Phil Rich. Palisade. By the way, we can't use Palisade does not count for those stopping first composition. Because we already know. Yeah, that one is That's yeah. cheating if you guess the Palisade. Oh yeah. What do we got here? 1886. Yep. Anything else in this section? Oh, the nineteen thirties. Yep. You couldn't wait, huh? Oh no. Love that nineteen thirties. Pedal. Fairly certain that everyone and their mother loves the nineteen thirties. I don't actually care for them. I just I think it was a great fan to have a museum. Tristar, which is one of my all-time favorite museum fans. Oh, yeah. The Tristar is like in the same category almost as the Chrome uh, from uh, iFan to me. VEC. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, here. Try that, you know. Progress lighting. Yep. Try to stay with me because when you run off and use the roads by yourself, you don't have everything on camera. Okay, it's on, that's on. What do we got here? A little tap? Little tap, yes. Yeah. I'm still not sure if there's a difference between tap and wing tap. It's either the it's same the company. company. It's the same company. Well, I heard somebody argued, it was, I think it was the guy who worked with Moss, argued that they were um, like Evergo and Union. Mm, somehow I doubt it. Brothers. I'm just telling you what I was told. Now, whether or not that's true, C I always thought tap was just an abbreviation for wing tap. Yeah, so, yeah Hunter, or whoever made that. You got we'll your studio sick. Bladed things. Hunter Studio. I'm telling you, that is CEC all the way. Mistral. Golden. And Mistral, since it's also right and here. And then we've got just the uh, Whisper Fan one. Yep, just the Whisper Fan one. Okay. Now let's get some like good crowd shots before we go to medium, because this is my favorite. Everything on low. Oh, you know what I forgot? What did you forget? Oh, that silly thing. You are Tom's favorite fan in the museum. I don't know if you were here when he said you would offer those with a lifetime warranty. Mmm, <laughs> it's starting to go. Slowly but surely. Chain has to torque up first. Yeah. Everybody thought I was crazy to put one of these on disco motor. I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. Okay. Okay, well, 
Yeah, you get some good crowd shots from the medium. Dance. I don't know if you guys know this, Andrew's actually a professional photographer. Are you a videographer as well, or are you just are you mostly stills? I'm more stills. I do do some video, but not really. Not as professionally as you do stills. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if I really tried, I could probably do it well. I just don't have that much of an interest in the video aspect. Other than video and fans. Pretty much. Just because everyone loves to see what I have stashed away. I have a lot of friends that are photographers. A lot of them are fan people and or musicians. So there's definitely some sort of correlation there. Hmm. But of course, in the fan community, we have Andy, who has gone to college for videography. And, you know, is, that's what he does for a living. He's a director on for NBC. I am ready to upgrade to medium whenever you are. Okay, let's go. Okay, I will start with the... Order. Here on. I'm doing the 1930s. I'm doing... Here on. I guess we should just do it one at a time so that, uh, so that it can be on camera when we do it. Because I did one, but when I do it and you're filming, you're doing a different one. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, if, you want, if you want to do your both, then I'll let you do it and I'll just... Stand here and look pretty. Otherwise, I can do the remotes when you film. Thank you. There we go. I'm loving all this candy that's been around this week for Halloween. Oh, yeah. Getting past the trick or treating, just eating fan fiction candy. Pretty much. Here's so rich. The delightfully awesome century. Centennial? Uh, yeah, Centennial. I keep getting them mixed up because yeah. the 19th century is a thing. Yeah, copper, copper and, and burnished brass. brass, yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I keep confusing it with the 19th century, which was a century before the 19th century. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, I keep confusing it with the 19th century, which was essentially based on, so. It, well, they're, they're based I, mean, on. I, I don't know if it was based on this. I'd be more inclined to think they were both based on the same antique, which I think is a peerless. Mm hmm. But this is, if you put them side by side, then there's no contest. No, no, it wasn't a peerless. It was an R&M. Okay. It was the R&M Type B. Oh, you want to get the Palisade on medium since you're over there? What did you say? Never mind, I got it. Oh, Palisade? I actually don't think there's a difference between medium and low, but look and tell me. I think it... It's yeah, a little slight. I mean, it's slow as molasses anyway. I don't think there is, and you know, I'll tell you, I think it's our imagination. I'll tell you why. There's only one capacitor in that receiver. Oh, okay. Maybe. So I think it's our imagination. I could be wrong. All that's in there is a 25 microfarad. I see. The so I start. You don't have to bother with the classic. Yeah, the same that's one. same. The classic, the, t the ring fan and the 36 inch tat are all the same on low and medium because of resonant frequencies. You can put the JC Penny on the sure, low I'm medium. The medium. That VEC is starting to like make some. Make some things happen. You oh, know, yeah. Like, a lot of these medium is just medium, but that VEC, like, I was like, what's going on high? And I look around and know there's the VEC, all that. Yeah, the iFan does that too. Yeah, the iFan. And I think one other, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. It's medium on there. Again, doesn't matter because it's medium regardless. Doesn't matter because it's medium regardless. Yeah. You know, that's why I started doing videos of fans on YouTube. Is uh, as opposed to not just like video tours of my house or my church or stuff like that. But I started doing it when I started putting fans in the museum, so the ones that weren't powered. People can come out and go look online and, and watch it, you know? Oh, yeah. Medium for the iPhone, you see that torque already? So the only ones in here that don't have a video are the Mickey Mouse fan, this little CEC, although that will change soon. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> let's see what else. <coughs> oh, that weird gyro of Tom's there at the back. Medium 
on the wind too. Somehow I doubt it. Medium for the silly cat tongue hugger. Wait, did I hit me with this? Okay, now I click. Now we have medium on the wind. Technically, wind is two. Yep, we have medium on the wind. Now it's yeah, it's medium. I just love it. Looks fast. Yeah, six blades. Perceptions. Interesting. There we have that. Up here we have the Mistral Tat on medium. Okay. Is that everything? That should be everything. Yes. Okay. So so far being wind powered, we have. The new tone, we'll call, I'll call it the new tone heat cycle, just for the sake of humor. That unknown Key Largo ish thing was going for a while, but it stopped. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I saw one other one a little bit more to go. You want to start with high now? Uh, get some crime shots first if you haven't already. Let's see, I'm looking to see. Anything else that I missed? And yeah, we got everything. Yeah. Well, in terms of the uh, in terms of the uh, uh, spinning on its own. You on the high? Yep, high on so the west wind. Well, we should announce that we got the west winds now. West winds on high. Original on high. We have high on the 1886, yay. Yep, now we have high on the silly, silly palisade. Palisade actually with quite a lot of air. Shocking, actually. We have high on the fill rich. Which is essentially an Emerson heat fan, but rebadged. So what did you say here? Essentially an Emerson heat fan, only rebadged and with a few different parts from the. Rich. Yep. With the rally like it. That likes to shake yeah. a lot. There's the Century on high. Wheel of Misfortune on high. We call it the Century again. Yeah, I keep getting that mixed up. Centennial, I mean. Yeah. There's the Long Scroll, New Orleans. There's the Huron. Yeah, Huron. Yes. Now to the VEC. Yeah. The rattle of the fill rich isn't quite as bad, but not so much wind happening around it. It's a turbulence issue in addition to the center shaft. Indeed. I, I tightened the center shaft and then it bound. So yeah. bind it. So bound, yeah. I just left it alone. I mean, High for the classic fan. I for the TriStar. Did you the pedal? The pedal looks like it's still on a... Oh yeah, I missed the pedal. Oops. Let's see. Pedal is now on high. Oh, that's JC Penny since I've got it in my hand even though... JC Penny on it's high. you're still letting me do. Because you're sitting right there, I might as well let you do it. Heat cycler now on high. Of 
progress lighting Windsor now and high. Now we have the California Fool's Gold on high. So many fans are spinning at their own floor. Indeed. Ring is on high now. on high and whoa does that twerk. <laughs> a little CEC rinse unknown thing is on high. Yes it is. Here comes the strong high fan. Rubber chill. Oh yeah. Definitely for the slaughter. Don't forget the studio on the tap. Yep. Currently at the studio. Studio is on high. Studio Series is one of Hunter's very, very few six-bladed models. Yep, that's why it's here. I thought for sure a studio would be too common, even a six-bladed one, but I can't tell you how many people have said that's their favorite fan of the museum. Hmm. A lot. We should try to find a Comfort Breeze Plus next. That's another six-blade model, which is... I actually like this better. I like the studio better than Comfort Breeze Plus. Golden Fan is on high. This thing hauls ass. I'm getting to it momentarily. Cat tongue now on high. It's pretty powerful for a hugger, actually. Which one's powerful? The tat tongue. Yeah. Now uh, we have the wind on high. I will use wind and wind two interchangeably when describing this fan because they're essentially the same model, only difference being the top of the motor housing. Whisper fan one is on high. Okay, code up PC is on high. And now also the beach ball mystery cats. Now, yep, the whole room is now flying. You got everything? I do believe so. Okay. The Encon is now flying, as is the Whisper Fan 2. Oh, I've never seen that in town before. That's really Yeah, cool. it's, 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 it's now, it's because of its current location in the museum with the air moving, it actually does move. The, uh, so what else is moving? The Broadway uh, Broadway's moving. moving. Your Magic Heat and ERS are both moving. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the ERS move before. The designer is still going. This, I don't, I don't know if I've seen this solid brass thing going. Solid that brass thing. used to spin, though, and now it's not. The Emerson is spinning. Slowly yeah, but surely. It's used to spin when everything is not high. I guess the relight made a difference there. Mm-hmm. Hell um, yeah. What else? It's also a matter of the air currents making their way through the room. The turkey thing's starting to spin a little bit. The uh, 20th century and the World's Fair going. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Yeah. Probably the classic fan and the Wheel of Misfortune fan having something to do with that. Patton's going. Patton. Going. Yeah. New tone always goes, but yeah. the Patton's new. That, um, the, the Codep's going. The Codep's thing used to go and now it's not. The uh, Friday fan used to go and now it's not. Yeah. The, uh, the uh, Calcutta going Sunbeam TBI is a new. Is new. Yep. It's because of the long scroll. Maybe the Wheel of Misfortune bit as well. But yeah, that's where crowd shots. Okay. Ready for the now? Do you get enough crowd shots and stuff? I do believe I have gotten my crowd shots, yes. Okay, so again, winner and loser. What, you know, what's your, what are your bets? I would say um, loser, obviously the long scroll, since we already know, and Winner will be the Mistral Tap, because the bearings on that thing are obscenely smooth. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, just because I can't guess the same, those would be my two guesses as well, um, but because I can't guess the same, you know, uh, I'm gonna go with, I can't honestly remember what stops second, so I'm gonna go with the Phil Rich, this is a shot in the dark, and I'm gonna give the Heat Cycler a go for second place. So, you ready? Mm-hmm. Five.
I'm pretty sure that kid that did that on the group trip uh, did that because I'm not in the videos. Probably. Counting down and stopping sooner. Creating a bunch of little monsters, Dan. I am. I need, I need, I need, I need to do better. <laughs> There's going to be a whole generation that uh, uses that what she said way too much. Oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> Where are we at time-wise? 9.07 p.m. No, uh, in, the, in the movie. In the movie, we are at 39.23. Okay. After, um, after the spin mask spin down is done, is there any other combination that you think we should do? Like, say, nothing but industrials, nothing but spinners, nothing but K-63s, K hmm. um, no, nothing but Casablanca, nothing but Hunter. You want to do any real specific combinations? I've never done that before. Since we have two people, we can do it. I figure the industrials we could probably get away with. We'll Not too many industri of them. Nothing but industrials next. Let's see, do we have enough K63 to do nothing uh, with K63? Not really. We could do nothing but K55 type, which includes K63. Nothing but quote unquote stack, yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't say that, it's a dirty word here. Uh, well, yeah, you don't like talking dirty. Yeah, mm. you don't like talking dirty. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, what else do we have? You don't like talking dirty? Mmm. You don't feel rich has stopped. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. As in, as is most of the section of the room we've completely ignored. Yeah, I completely, yeah. I'm busy talking about other things. Okay, we have to do that again. Because, uh, at least we get to do a mass startup now, which is pretty cool. And go! It's so hard to watch all of them at once. Oh, yeah. Once the ring fan gets up to speed. Well, well let's each take one half of the room. Which, which half of the room do you want to take? In terms of what? <coughs> see, looking to see which one stops first. And I will take the left half, you take the right. Which is the left? This or the back? Your left. Huh? Your left. No, I mean, like, we split it down the middle. The split front, it. you get... I'll get the front side facing the windows, and you'll get this side. How about okay, that? Okay, I'm dividing it at the, at the progress lighting back. Ring fan in seven, one row, progress lighting forward in the other. Okay. So, which one do you want? Progress lighting forward or ring fan back? I'll do progress forward. <clears throat> okay. Per usual, the long scroll has stopped first. Okay, what's next between the uh, end time and the foe <coughs> uh, I want to say West Wind stopped second. A West Wind second, okay. Yep. Phil Rich third. VC, I think, fourth. I still don't have anything stopped over here, so your section. End time stopped. Huron's still going because it's new. Centennial still going, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Tristar stopped. I'm going to be interesting if Tristar stopped so quickly. Yeah. Okay, my, on my end, the CEC thing stops first. Classic fans stopped. Hmm. Um, Thunderguard stopped. Yeah, that's not a while ago. <clears throat> I don't have anything else stopped yet. I think the progress just stopped. JC Penny. Uh, one just stopped. Yeah, JC Penny just stopped. <clears throat> Um, 1886 and 1930s have stopped. Next one should be the pedal. Pedal has stopped. Cali Fool's Gold has stopped. Huron is about to stop. Huron has stopped. 
So on this side, the only fan still moving that is hooked up is the... I mean Centennial. You mean Centennial? Yes, I got my doing it. <laughs> Whoops. It looks, yeah. like I said, they're basically... Yeah. You asshole. Kids, it's perfectly acceptable to call someone an asshole when they're an asshole. Titanic stops. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, the over here it's on the side that I'm on. It's going to be a close one. The century is no, not century. The centennial is still going. Centennial has stopped. <coughs> so I'll just do the heat cycle or the pistol. And it looks like the heat cycle is going to stop first, but. Probably. No. Hope I pull through. Do you want to do all three speeds or just high? I'd say just high. Okay, so all we gotta do is cut the main switch back on. Mistral's Mistral gone. stopped, and now the heat cycler has finally stopped, so heat cycler wins. Wow. Wow, okay. indeed. Well, guess, guess dinner's on you. Whoops. Eh, <laughs> oh, dinner's on you. So I'm gonna try to get it back on, we'll just turn off everything except industrials. Mm hmm. Off. Off. No real industrials on this front end. That was by design. I wanted to kind of keep the classier stuff in the front. So when the antiques guys come up here, they see the stuff that looks like they might conceivably like it. You know? Oh, yeah. And then the weirder stuff that's more vintage like the chrome and the, you know, all that kind of stuff happens the further back you get. Yeah. So the closest uh, industrial. Heat cycler would classify as an industrial. Oh, just yeah, for... I think off. Uh, Did I hit it by mistake? Or you hit it you by hit mistake? mistake, yeah. No, heat cycler is an industrial, I'll tip you on. Yep. So we have one, two, three, four power industrials here. Yep. One, two, three, in this row, and just the, just the heat cycler in this row. Interesting. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So, if we do the same test with these in terms of which stops first and last, we know what's going to stop last. I'm going yeah. to give the VEC for stopping first. What would you give? I agree with the VEC first. 
<laughs> Alright, well I already know I'm gonna lose, so I probably have to go with the ring second. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be easy in the ring. The golden fan, I know the golden fan goes to do goes for a while, even though the bearings are going rough. Mm-hmm. Well let's give it a try. How do you know you're gonna lose? I've never noticed it to be easy like that, have you? Yeah, I, I noticed it stopped pretty quickly. My Zoom function sucks, by the way. Are you are you using Zoom? No. It's just low yeah, light. It gets blurry when you zoom. Well, of course, it's digital. It just zooms yeah. in on the pixels, so it's... Yeah. Yep, okay. yeah, that's a quick... That's okay. a quick well, stop. That was right. That was blue in the box, but I mean, I did oil and stuff, and still... You need to get to the bottom bearing, though? No. That's probably why. Oh, well, maybe one day. I mean, it still runs good. Seem For now, yeah. They're, um... Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I don't know really need to do that. The inside really knows it's going to go forever. So it's just a tie, it's just a see between the uh, right. golden right. fan and the ring, yeah. I think you're right that the ring stops quicker, but let's, let's see. And then after this, we can set everything back to low and we can be done with this video. Mm hmm. It's been 51 minutes, by the way. Good, perfect. That the last one was about an hour, this one will be about an hour. The warehouse one will be shorter, but you can go with me and we'll, uh... Mm -hmm. Have you explored any of those back office instances to see if they're, uh... Yep, ring has stopped. Yep, so it's this? Golden Fan second and... Or second to last, I should say. Penultimate. Penultimate, exactly. Okay. Well, let's uh, put the switch back on and set everything back to low, which is how I like it. And uh, that'll be it for ceiling fan videos for up here. I'll do a, uh, we have some, some video I can do downstairs as well as a uh, um, <clears throat> low, low, low. Are back at Fanimation. I actually already recorded this video tour and then when I was transferring it off my phone to my computer the file got corrupted so I'm going to do it over again. If I find the old file I'll upload that one as well. When I say find if I can fix it you know if I can find the footage essentially I will uh, upload that one as well and uh, it'll be two versions but for right now I'm doing it over and hopefully this file will work because it was pretty much an hour of footage. So we're here in the lobby. Uh, when I came down here this time, just one Enigma was on, which is weird because they're all on the same remote, so not sure how that happened. And the uh, Aviston was on. Um, so you can see they added these uh, LED lights up here. 
that unfortunately are positioned so that there's a lot of strobing from the Enigmas, so they're going to be trying something different with those. Um, so let's turn all the uh, lobby fans on low. Low for the Enigmas. Come on, Enigmas. That one's not going to take. There we go. I don't know why it takes so much pushing. Okay. The Aviston. Low. And I like having the lights on just so I know which ones are working and which ones are not. Okay. Spitfire. Low. I actually really like the Spitfire. Zonix. Low. Let's get the air shadow on over here. Low. <clears throat> okay. Everything's on low. It's going to be really hard to tell with these enigmas, though, because they are being wonky. Maybe the battery's low. I don't know what causes that. Interference from the LEDs. Okay, so we're going to try medium with them. Just going to push it a bunch of times and hope that it takes. <clears throat> One of them is definitely going faster. Are the others? Okay, it's good enough. Aviston. Spitfire. Sonix. Air Shadow. Everything's on medium now. Looks like that top one is still slower than the rest. But let's find out. This remote was just blinking. What does it mean when the remote blinks? Anyhow, high. Let's take these to high. I heard some of them pick up. The top one still. Okay. So we're getting there. Feel a breeze from those. Those are some powerful fans, even though they don't look like it. High on the Avacyn. High on the Spitfire. High on the Zonix. The three blade Fanimation fans have a pretty slow high. I think that's because the uh, people don't want a real windy sounding fan. High with the air shadow. Is it taking? Doesn't seem like that's high. There we go. Everything's on high. Okay, let's try to do a spin down. It's going to be difficult because these enigmas are going to be stubborn, I'm sure. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's try that. Aviston. Spitfire. Zonix. What do I do with the air shadow remote? It's right here. And just so that I don't forget, turn the lights off too. So that one stopped quick. See, that one Spitfire is stopping pretty quick. Fire is stopping. Sonic is still going. Aviston is still going. Enigmas are stopping, but they're still going. You can see the new Fanimation sign out there. It's got the new logo. Enigmas. Sonics. 
Aviston. For those who watch my videos, um, Ashley, who worked at the front desk, got promoted. And there's a new Denise. So now there's two Denises. Okay, looks like that Enigma is going to stop first. Then probably the Xonix. Once the Zonic stops, I'm going to let these go and move on to some other rooms because the spin down can take forever, especially with the heavy blades like the uh, Aviston. Okay, Zonix is stopping. Aviston is still going. One of the Enigmas is coming too close to stopping, and the other one's still got a ways to go. So let's keep moving. I think everything down here is the same as it's been. <clears throat> so in here, I think these are on the same remote. Yeah, they're definitely on the same remote as something because they're on and they were off before. So let's get the lights on first. How do I get them both on? There we go. Low. Medium, high, off. And you can see blading. Okay, let's keep moving. Oops, so let's turn those lights off. Off. There we go. Now I swear those are on the same frequency as the Enigmas, so let's see if that's affected our Enigmas any. Nope. Aviston's still going though. Okay. Only thing over here is Jana's office. She used to have an air shadow, now she has this embrace. So low. Medium. Hi. It doesn't seem like it'd be that powerful given how slow it is, but it's actually pretty powerful. It's pretty impressive. Off. Off. I'm not doing full on spin downs because the video would be way too long. We'll do them in some places where there are multiple fans. But as far as individual fans, you've seen them all spin. Aviston's still going. See, that's why I can't do full spin downs for everything. So the break room has this, I uh, can't remember what these are called. Everybody keeps uh, telling me, and I just can't keep up. There's so many. Um, one of the new fans is the subtle. I don't remember if this is the subtle or the five blade thing is the subtle. There's actually two five blade things it could be. So there's low. Medium, high, for the longest there was no fan in here, I thought that was silly, how you not have a fan in the break room of a fan company. Okay. So, let's keep moving. A lot of these offices are locked, and I don't uh, have the master key right now. Just have the so this Benito is still here. Let's see if there's a remote in here for it. Is this it? Well, if this is, it's dead. So that's no help. Is there a remote in here? I don't see it. If it's here, if it's here, it's this one, and this one's dead, so. Can't really help you there. I swore I found the remote for it earlier, but maybe not. Oh well. We've done that on a million videos, you've seen that one. 
this brewmaster is still here. Both of these offices, both the one with the Benito and the one with the brewmaster, are used by the accountants. So here's low, medium, high. They seem pretty similar. Does reverse do anything on the brewmaster? Yep, it reverses. Don't think I knew that. Cool. This is a new thing that I'm not familiar with, but it's a cool new one. So here's the remote for it. Let's see here. Low. Medium. And high. Oh, it's another one that seems slower than you'd expect, but moves more air than you'd expect. Okay. Off. I don't know what this one is called. I don't think this is the subtle. I'm just calling all the ones I don't know the subtle. So, if you guys know what's in there, we'll do separate tours later. If you guys know what's up there, we'll do separate tours later. <clears throat> I think the only thing else on this floor is the R&D lab. So, let's go in here. Okay, there's a couple of them on already. See, this is this. Let's turn the fan on low. Good, I figured that one out quickly. Here's the Odin. Let's do uh, low and light on. That one can't make it with mine, huh? Well, there it goes. I tried earlier and couldn't find the switches for these. Maybe there are these remotes down here. But if they are, fans aren't responding to them. Um, that one obviously is not hooked up. This one, let's try. Low. Good. Okay. Let's see what else we got over here. Light on, low. This one I know I got on before. Light on, low. I couldn't find the remote for that. And that's not hooked up. Too bad, I want to play with one of those. Um, I couldn't find anything for that. There's nothing in here. Oh, an orbital fan. Didn't do anything. Okay. Then we go over here. Where Juliet lives. And there's a... This is the other one that might be the subtle. You know, I'm just calling every new fan the subtle. We'll figure out which one's actually the subtle at some point. I'm trying to get it on. I think it's on low. I'm no good with the uh, new remotes. They're too fancy for me. Okay, I'm going to skip medium because a lot of these are 7 speed fans, so we'll just do low and high. Turning this one above me on high. That one should be on high now. Let's turn the Odin on high. This is going to be a windstorm in here, so I'm sorry about your papers, buddy. I don't know who lives in that office. Maybe Scott. Hi. I think I'm going to start doing 
just low and high when I do this because with the seven speed fans, you know, what do you pick? Four is the medium and it just gets complicated. So we'll just do we'll just do low and high for now. high okay I'm gonna work backwards turn them off 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 ah oh, that's a cute little hugger off off not sure if that's off or not off now let's go turn that's got a switch does it no Well, that one's not off. Hold on. Thought for sure it was off. There we go. I think that's off. That's coming to a stop. Okay, so we're done in here. Turn the lights off. Okay, pretty sure everything is off and not just uh, spinning down. So we will continue about our tour. Well, that's back on. Must be on one of the same frequencies. Turn it off. A little tuck away there. <clears throat> One thing I miss is the life test area. Okay, here is uh, Sandy's office. Nope, it's not on that, so let's try this. Light. On light. Down light. Low. Nathan's office. Let's try. Light, low, I think that's low. I keep wondering what the humming is. Is the light on in one of the bathrooms? Is that what the humming's coming from? Let me just find out. There it was. Look, like, is there a fan on downstairs? No, it's the bath fan. Okay. Low. 
low. It's another subtle light and low. By the way, I turned all the fans off in the bullpen and there's one on. So again, some stuff must share the same frequencies. This one is moving some air, moving some papers and stuff, just without. So I'm just going to skip to high. I'm just going to do high and low. Again, because with these variable and seven speed remotes and all that. One of my favorites. Just looks like a classic vintage industrial fan. Although I wonder why it's matte white and not gloss. Hi. 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 Looks slow, but it's moving there. Okay. Off. And I'll turn the light off. 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 Off? How? I... Yeah, I finally turned it off. Just not used to these new fancy remotes. But they're very. Oh! Quick spin down because it's DC. That one will probably be a quick spin down too. This one we know has a long spin down. Off. There's got to be a trick to these that I don't know. There we go. So, lights off. That one's almost spun down, so lights off. That'll be a while. I don't know why I didn't turn the light off. Okay. This orbital fan is still here. I can't remember what these are called other than orbital. Two speeds. Pretty cool design. They seem to get a lot of men on warranty, though. There's always some in the scrap bin, so they must have some flaws in the design. Either that or people use them outside too much. Where's my light switch here? Hey, Andrew! He's useless. Find the light switch for the bullpen. Maybe that was it? Yep. So, 
I was just going to have you hit the lights out here, but I found the switch. Low. Single speed. Light on. Low. Low. There's no light. Light. Low. Light. Low. One of my favorites, by the way, DC Levon. Light. Low. The one that's on the same is something downstairs. Low. Low. Light. Light. Low. Let's move up to a high. High. Punka only has one speed, so we leave it alone. High. 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 I'll leave all those on high for a second. We'll go peek at this louver in here. Wonder what this knucklehead is doing. Oh, he's playing on the computer, of course. Instead of, you know, actually low DC louver. High. Okay. Let's hit the kill switch and do a mass spin down. So the DC fans sat pretty quick. A DC Levon is cool with an integrated light that doesn't look any different than the switch cap. So if you don't have the light on, it just looks like <clears throat> DC Levon is first. Let's see what's last. By the way. DC louver. Turn it off. I don't know what these things are, but it looks like that five-bladed thing might uh, be the last man standing. Yep. Okay, so let's set everything back the way we found it. I wonder where the other switch is for this, since this is a three-way. Which means somewhere on the other end of the building is the uh, opposing switch. Light off. Off. Light.
that one's like going off. I hit stop. What do you want from me? Somebody's map blue. I don't know where that goes. I'll put it right there. So next time I come, this room will be very different. So you can look forward to that. Here's the famous blue and red enigma. Whoa. The camera really doesn't do the finish justice. Kinda of sorta of see it. Low. High. Come back to that. I can't remember what this thing is called. We see it a lot though. Low. I said under the low. Hi. Come back to that. That's full speed. So we'll turn that off. It's a good air mover. It doesn't look like it because it looks kind of slow. Turn that off. Ooh, look at these. I want these, like Fanimation miniatures. I want some. Okay. Just come back and see how the Enigma is doing since those take forever. It's a metal version. And last, but certainly not least, where the magic happens. Whoa. Medium, high, Tom's office, of course. Okay, that one stopped. That's still going, but I'll turn the lights off. Let's just see anything downstairs since I've been playing with the remotes. Let's see if we have any interference. Uh, that will leave on. That can go off. That can go off. I really wish I could turn those bright LEDs off. Oh yeah, we definitely have some interference. The Spitfire's on. That wasn't on before. These are back on. So let's turn that off. Can I get them both off, please? Okay. Yep. Spitfire's on. It's a... Uh, Turn that off. Let's see if anything in the lab has come on. For once, no. Usually something comes on. So, okay. Well, I will do a separate tour for the warehouse and separate tours for the various sections of the museum.
Thanks for watching and come visit us at Fanimation. Snapshot of the uh, storage area behind the museum. Sometimes on the group trips I have people help me bring stuff back here and we cleaned and organized it so I just wanted to show you. There's my project Palisades, there's the Skintalite, a bunch of track lights and vintage fans in boxes. <clears throat> These banana boxes all have Tom stuff in them. There's more fans and fan parts. These cage lights are going up for sale. Uh, 50 bucks a piece if anybody wants to own a piece of the museum. There's a Christmas tree in there. Those boxes are Kim's. That's more stuff for the, for the museum. So, I thought anybody who'd seen <clears throat> how disorganized it was out here might be impressed to see how organized it is now. Thanks for watching. Continuing our updated tour of Fanimation. Here is the warehouse and fan restoration shop. Here is the new R&M. Is this on low or medium? Low. Um, Andrew and I put this up the other day. It's Lewis Weedman's fan that he donated to the museum. And we decided that this was the perfect spot for it. So we have a full test video as well as a video of Andrew uh, hanging it. But uh, I'll do a quick demo here. Medium. High. It's a really cool fan. It's from 1945. It's got a preheat fluorescent light. I mean, everything about it is cool. It's just cool. <clears throat> Here's a fans here. Yeah, and there's a blade to it next to it. Mm, yeah. See? Okay. There's fans everywhere you turn. Here's the fan restoration shop where Mr. Kim does his magic. Pretty amazing here. Um, some fanimation stuff. You want to go ahead, oh, you put it back to low? Mm -hmm. I put it on medium on purpose. You want to go ahead and just do a quick demo of the can arm? Yeah, okay. Oh, we'll go over here. I guess we can go this way. Just low, high, off, I guess, is really all we need. I think I'm going to just stop doing medium in a lot of my videos when I do bulk fans. Because medium is different depending on the fan. Whereas low is always the lowest and high is always the highest. But where is medium? <clears throat> There's the upstairs storage area. Here's where they balance enigmas. Here's where they store enigmas. Here's where Ray, Mr. Ray as I call him in the videos, builds the custom fans. Okay, go ahead and turn the can arm to low. Oh, it's got a pretty slow low. I didn't realize it was that. <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually borderline average. Okay, go ahead and take it to high. Take yeah, no need to do everything in between. I've got a full demo video of it somewhere. So there were. No, it's rattling greatness. <clears throat> there were six of these in here total. Five with straight blades, one with curved. Now there are five total. It takes a while to get up to speed and it takes a while to spin down. Yeah, it rattles. You can see the RM over there, a much superior fan. Okay, let's keep moving. <clears throat> Turn that off. So here's Enigma's waiting to be balanced. Every single one has to be balanced by hand before they can ship it out. Here's what the cast motor in them looks like, Andrew. I was going to show you. Uh, Quite a beefy oh, motor. Nice Alaska. I love how they actually still make them like that. Yeah, I had no idea until I saw them here. I mean, I don't know that they're actually called Alaska, but you get the idea. Yeah. Well, whoever. That might not be accurate either. Here's oh, This is all stuff for the museum, by the way. <clears throat> and um, they since Andrew was here... Uh, Kim, Mr. Kim pulled down the ceiling fan crate. Got two Grand Duchesses. There's an Archive Original in there. There's some sort of, some sort of deal. There's an r &M. Is this a Type H? Or no, this is one of those with the... Uh, Sawtooth rotor. Yeah, I hate those. I like the Type H. There's a Sidewinder in there. <coughs> All these are ceiling fans, too. I want to know what that box is that says Unknown Ceiling Fan. <coughs> ceiling Fan. <coughs> Unknown Manufacturer. Two Vera? Which one are you just playing with? Huh, I mean, we can always pull it out and find out. Well, if you feel like it, but we're going to continue this. There's the old Casablanca's up there. There's the R&M again. Hey, buddy. So here's a... Can I, what'd you say? I really can't. Can you? No. See? Well, then... <laughs> exactly. So I wouldn't be so critical if I were you. Is that me the camera? I have What? I was actually going to get up on the ladder to get closer, but... Yeah, this is good enough. If you want to. Yeah. Low. 
Is that low, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, we'll take it to high. <coughs> <coughs> They're not very high performance. Models. I think I've told this story in videos before. I asked Ed how, why he picked uh, Canadian fans, and he said he literally just opened up an industrial supply book and just, just pointed his finger yeah. randomly. And I said, how would you feel if your customers did that and they got Minka? Yeah. <coughs> so he didn't really have anything to say to that. <laughs> so there's that. Down here is where, uh, first of all, there's the... Uh, Entrance to the R&D lab there. <coughs> Here's where fans go to die. Yay. You know. Anything anything good in here, I wonder? Mm. We've been take, cannibalizing parts out of here for museum projects. We always do. You could make a brewmaster if you wanted. <coughs> in the center shaft, okay. So... There's another bicycle. I didn't realize there were so many bicycles here. That's how you get around in here. There's the old Casablanca dumbwaiter. So. I think it's a dumbwaiter. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can find what you were looking for, because I think it's down this way somewhere. But. <clears throat> you know, it gets dark in here. You're just riding a tricycle. You have to expect to see two creepy little twins in the distance. Mm hmm. Somewhere over here is where the uh, where the palm leaf blades are made. John Frampton actually makes a lot of them by hand. Or I don't know if he makes them from scratch, but he gets the, the rough ones in from wherever they're made. And he, Perfect. yeah. So I'm looking to see. There's a bin of them somewhere, because that's where I used to grab them from, for like the Palisade and stuff like that. But I don't see them anymore. Maybe they don't do that anymore. Those yeah, well, it's different, but yeah. There's some ore ones there. Here's where he does it. <clears throat> this is where John John works. So back here, let's see if anything's different than since the last time I've been back here. Do you want to do a demo on those can arms? Yeah, these ones are. They're reversible. Yeah, they are. Nothing new in here. Nope. You want to spin the fan of fortune? Misfortune. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See what you win. Metal Pete played Fan of Fortune last time we were here. <clears throat> and you win a glider. I don't know what that is, but you win one. So, they need to actually hang some fans in here instead of just having these oscillators. Although having the oscillators mounted is definitely kind of indicative of what you'd normally have and something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, this is something rather intense. Yeah, I've filmed this one before. We can see if we can cut it on. I can't. If you see the remote. Oh, yep, there's an old school Enigma in there. This remote's dead, so... Oh, no, there it goes. I can't remember. These are called the... I don't know, the ellipse, the eclipse. I don't remember what they're called. They're a thing. A thing, yeah. Yeah, I'll turn it back off again. I don't know if there's a remote for this Enigma or not. Um, I don't even... These are, where's the wall switch? That's just for the lights. Maybe this? It's got an LED bulb in it, so they must have used it recently. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Low. High. I think battery's probably running low. Yeah. Took a few tries with light. Now now I hit light and it doesn't do anything. Oh well. Let's just say interference. Or yeah, like okay. There we go. That works. Oh, I tried. So, nothing really new back here, though. <clears throat> what you looking for? It's further down. Here, I'll go at a distance so you can... I'm going to get a shot so you can do all three.
What's that, low? Oh, they're just one speed? Yeah. It's shorted? Yeah. I've only seen them on like once or twice. Yeah, they're terrible fans. You want to reverse them? The reverse switch is wired in backwards too. When they're forward, they're in reverse, and when they're reverse, they're forward. You'd think that, you know, we could get that right at a fan company. Yeah, they're not great fans. I'm shocked that you didn't ask Ed if you could do it. Of what? I've mentioned it before. But, you know, what I've said is if it never, if nobody else does it, one of these times I'll do it, not I'll do it right now. If you came in and said I'll do it right now, it might be a different story. Okay, well, why don't you cut them off and hit the, put them back to forward so that they'll be ready whenever somebody else wants to use them. Okay, <clears throat> just walk around the other side of the warehouse and show the paint booth. I mean, it's all the same. I think if you watch my videos before, you've already seen the paint booth and whatnot. Down rods we are out of. Please check AM before cutting. Interesting. I don't know what that means, but it's interesting. It means if there's a certain <clears throat> length missing, you need to check with somebody before you cut along the rod to fit. Yeah. The fan packing station is really cool, by the way. Oh, yeah. You can, I mean, you can get anything packed. You can get any box made any size, and, you know. Yeah. Hey, where are our signs? Signs are up front with the old stuff still. They're in their boxes. Well, let's make sure we remember to gra let's grab them on the way out of the uh, warehouse because I was going to leave them here. And that would be a shame because uh, yeah. I think even my wife would like the sign. So just in case no one's seen the uh, paint booth before, this is where we paint. Someone's painting some custom stuff here. Uh, Kim's son, Eddie, does the, does the painting. Kim used to do it now that he does the antique fans. Ooh! You want one of these? <laughs> yeah, if we can get them home and hit that hit that switch just so I can show the vent thing. Yeah. It's right here. It's right here. Yeah, no, going around. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would uh put one of these outside my condo. So this is the vent for the five, four, three. Okay. Okay. So that's a updated warehouse. <clears throat> there seems like they're constantly rearranging things. So you're saying that like you've been here a thousand times before. This is what your second time. Yeah. And it was pretty much the same the last time you were here. At some point, probably have fans in the base, or you know, in these spaces because they're hanging from the there. rafters. You mean hanging from the steel beams, from the orange steel beams? Short, but yeah. And I think I'd worry about the forklift hitting them. Yeah. Plus, the forklift's got to be able to go up here and stuff too. Yeah, so that's why they're so sparsely fanned. Oh yeah, of course. Because you know. You have to have them high and. The above the trusses in order to clear yeah. yeah well that's why like gold lines ship factory with a shorter down rod mm -hmm. you know so okay well we're done out here yes okay grab the signs I'm gonna turn the uh, electricity off oh did you want to did you want to pull out that mystery fan uh, yeah actually let's do that then I'll turn the electricity off and you carry the signs out to the foyer. Mm -hmm. There they are, but we got to make sure we remember them. Yes. <clears throat> it says unknown on it. Second from the bottom, and the huh. second from the bottom, second from the left. This one here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 
severity ceiling fan. I don't know what that means. So it looks like a Victor. Oh. Spreaders. Yeah. Banana boxes are so useful. Oh yeah. What do we got there? Um, cast aluminum chrome plated goodness. Tornado ceiling fan. Mm. No. Is this it? What? Yep. Let's see what unknown manufacturer is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What is it? It's a Royal Windine. We've been looking for this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Yeah, we know what's well, going up next. Yeah, okay, well, um... <laughs> well, let's just leave this one on top for easy access. Yeah, does it need to be restored? Because if it doesn't need to be restored, then... Yeah, it just needs a good cleaning. If it does need to be restored, I'll take it back to Wisconsin. If it needs to be restored, I'll leave it here and wait for Mr. Kim to get to it. But as we know, Mr. Kim... Doesn't... Let me see what the... Be gentle. You just have to coax that pull chain out of there. Yeah. Well, good. I didn't know we had one. We have one. Mm -hmm. I wonder what prompted Tom to buy that. Who knows? Okay. Well, I'm going to go and cut the electricity. Right. So. Sounds good. Nice. It's good to know that's here. I'll just talk to Kim about it tomorrow while I'm in here. Yep. Okay, so go ahead and put it on the top of the pile, but put it back in the pile for now. Also, notice how it has the 36-inch motor. Yeah? It does not have 36-inch blades? No. The 36-inch motor, I guess, was powerful enough for a large... For wood blades. Yeah. Let's see, what what blades is... That's got, those, look short, those are short blades. Oh, yeah. That's like a 42-inch, but it's, you know, it's not a 52-inch fan. They stubby. Okay. All right. Oh. <clears throat> yep, yeah, like I said, put that one back in the top of the pile. And, uh... Yeah, well, that's awesome, because I've been uh, trying to look for one of those for the museum, so now we have, I know we have one now. So. Thing's pretty bright. Yeah, nice security light. Man. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna leave it on overnight, but I hear you. Okay, well, there you have it for the updated warehouse. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, there's been some remodeling of the shelves of the museum. I thought I would uh, do a brief video tour to show you. You can see there's now three aisles down the center. So we'll just do a, a brief look down each aisle. get a closer look at something you gotta come visit. Admission is free, donations are accepted, and uh, there's lots to see. Every time I come I see something I didn't realize was there, and stuff gets added every time. No, I'm probably going too fast, but I just want to give it a little glance and you want to come look in detail. You come on. Maybe I'll do a video. These gyros here can be plugged in. So maybe I'll demonstrate those in a different video. I'll 
these roto beams, fresh and bears. This is one of my favorites. I love these Eskimos. This is really cool. They actually added a lot of new shelving, so there's room for even more. And there's more room to walk around. This is not on display, we've just been working on some stuff. I'm glad there's some little Eskimos and Zeros. A lot of people really like those. Even though some of the more serious collectors frown on them. Another one of those gyros that can be hooked up. It's a neat color for a Vornado. That Windex is also not on display. That's just something we've been using. I like those fans with the cages on them. They used to have them in all the government buildings. The uh, post office. Not post office, excuse me. Public library. Silver Swan. I want a Silver Swan. That's actually one of mine. It's the same one I have in my shop. I bought it here in Indy. Didn't have room in my car for it, so I gave it to Tom. And I can't wait till we get this powered up. This coffee cup is not on display. Looks like I can toss those. Now there's this ladder. This is cool. I love these chrome hunters. I had one and I gave it away and I can't figure out who I gave it to. Can't figure out why I gave it away either. It was one of my favorites. I must have been feeling really generous. There's the swans that I want so badly. Fan in a crate. See if there's a quarter to play the piano.
<clears throat> These box fans don't actually go here, but <clears throat> well, that's cool. It's a Casablanca. Didn't know that. This is awesome. Only Tom. Only Tom Frampton. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, we're back at the uh, Fan Museum at Fanimation. I want to do a video tour of some updates we've done to the downstairs, which is where most of the antique fans are. This is very cool. I haven't worked downstairs before, so this is a big deal. So first, I'll demonstrate these belt fans here. I don't know if these are original Schnedeker and Tara or what they are, but they're certainly very similar. So we demonstrate these every group trip and every video tour. <clears throat> and they're certainly pretty cool. Okay, so we have some new additions to the downstairs, including this fern leaf here of Tom's that we installed. But the coolest thing about the new additions is that we powered a lot of fans down here. Uh, since the first time I was here, which was for the AFCA uh, fanfare, there have been requests to power up stuff down here. And, uh, I think I finally convinced Kim, and Kim finally convinced Tom, and we made it happen. So we moved about half the X10 stuff from upstairs down here, and everything is on X10. Here's the controller. Um, this is not for visitors to use. This is for me, Tom, and Kim. 
and uh, perhaps someone else with our supervision. But it's not for anybody just to come over here and touch. So first things first, let's try that fern leaf out over there. <clears throat> it's set to high, so we can demonstrate just how powerful some of these antiques are. And uh, bearing seems a little worn, but it's not bad. It's just not as not fresh and spanking new. I have one of these as well. Mine has a very worn bearing. So I think that looks very cool there, especially on that long down that way. I love that for a variety of reasons. That's the uh, fan of the Casablanca Victorian copy. Next up we have this Western High Sidewinder. This belongs to an AFCA member named Mike Friedlove who donated it to the museum. And uh, <clears throat> he gave us permission to hook it up and run it. You can hear it rattling. That's both a worn bearing and one of the blades has a split. It's been glued but needs to be better glued. So, ah, he returns. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Frampton. You want to tell us anything about any of these fans? I was just talking about the, uh, how, the Vic how the Victorian was based on this. Do you remember anything? Uh, well, it's a combination of the Victorian body, a Dayton switch housing, R and M blade holders originally. Yeah, the CB one. Nobody's ever replicated the uh, Sidewinder, have they? I can't think of any. Not, not as a Sidewinder. I think the bottom cast is done. Well, if, there, if Animation ever decides to get into the uh, antique replica game, there you go. There's still some left to do, huh? Yeah. You got the uh, the newest fan. The newest fan. Oh, I haven't gotten that yet. I was actually going to tag, because this, uh, this is going to be a video mainly just demonstrating all the power stuff, but I was going to tag that on the end. We'll let that be a surprise uh, at the end of the video. You watch it all the way to the end, then uh, uh, then you'll get to see what, what Tom's newest treasure is. Um, okay. Well, that's great, great to see you as always, Tom. Everybody say goodbye to Tom. Come visit us at the group trips. Uh, tentatively, the next one is January 28th. Tom and I will be here. So, uh, <clears throat> too bad Tom couldn't stick around. I was going to ask him about some of these other ones because uh, next up we have some from his personal collection, which are gyro fans, which are uh, my favorite of the brass bladed antique stuff. Uh, if you've never seen a gyro fan before, there's some more modern companies that knocked it off, like Matthews Fan Company and such. It's essentially two desk fans stuck on a rotating center. So keep an eye out for this red, kind of burgundy and black Westinghouse gyro kind of off to the uh, left-hand side there. I'm going to power that up. You see it? So these are from Tom and Kim's collection. I think technically Tom owns them and Kim restored them. So this is two uh, stamp steel Westinghouse motors, and then there's a belt that comes off the oscillator gear from one of the motors and causes the whole thing to spin at 7 RPM. Sidewinder is still spinning down, by the way. I wanted one of these very badly when I was a kid, but they were like five, six hundred bucks for unrestored back then, so I couldn't afford that. Now, I still can't afford them because they're like five, six grand for an unrestored one. Well, closer to ten grand for a restored one. So there's the uh, Westinghouse Sidewinder. Kim picked which fans get powered, by the way. Based partially on who they belong to, on which ones were ready to run, and which ones he thought were coolest. This is one of his favorites, and he thinks is the coolest ones here. It's a deal, rather than a gyro, it's more of a double headed oscillator. Just two oscillating fans stuck to a ceiling mount. 
so even though it's kind of less cool in that it doesn't spin all the way around, it's more cool in that they did not make a whole lot of these. It's a pretty uncommon design. See what's next? Oh, this is a Jandis gyro. This is probably the most valuable gyro of the ones that are powered. Not actually my favorite though. I like the Westinghouse ones better and another one that I haven't shown you yet. But this one is a... <clears throat> See if you can watch the lights dim when it's powered up. It draws a lot of current. You see the lights dim? Now this one does not have a belt drive or anything like that. Just the wind causes it to spin. That's dry bearings, but it'll go away as it gets up to speed. Uh, at some point, Kim's going to take it apart and clean it out, and it'll be silent from the beginning for now. It just has to run for a bit, and then it quiets down. We'll come back to that. See how it's quieted down? So next up is the other Westinghouse gyro, which is this cream and brass one with cages. This also has the 7 RPM belt drive. This one, I think the belt had come off, and we have a video of Kim working on it. And here's my favorite of the gyros. This is from the Chicago Fan Company. This was a, in a famous actor's home. I can't remember his name. Jack Pal something? Not Jack Parr. I keep wanting to say Jack Parr, who was a talk show host. Jack Palum or something like that? I'll have to look it up. This was in his home. It's a relatively cheap, quality gyro fan, but it's really cool. So let's power that one up. The light is original. This is another one where there's no gear drive, it just, or belt drive. Um, <clears throat> it just uh, is powered by wind. Once it gets up to speed, it'll go pretty fast. Hey, Joe. Hey, if you can stick around for a second, I'm going to have you help me do some filming. Yeah. Cool. Doing I'm doing it now, but I, right now uh, I can do this by myself. I mean, you're more than happy to help, but I'm going to need you to hold the camera for me when I get to some other stuff. So, you guys may uh, remember fan collector Joe Boyd, who is a specialist in Casablanca, New Orleans fans and similar. So, speaking of Casablanca, they re also replicated this one. This is a uh, open top century ceiling fan and Casablanca made it and called it the Century 9000. I'm still looking for one of those for the museum. I had uh, somebody say he was going to give us one and then he gave it to somebody else. I've uh, bid on a few on eBay and lost, so that's one of the few I'm still looking for. These are arguably one of the most powerful ceiling fans ever made along with the Sidewinder. <clears throat> it's a 60 inch fan. a really, uh, really strong air mover. Okay. Well, come on back as soon as you're done. This one runs perfect. Bearings are perfect. Motor is silent. It's got a, a three-speed pull chain in there. It's not original. Somebody added it. You can kind of see it up in the middle of that nose. Um... This is definitely the best running out of all the powered fans down here. Okay. So, let's start turning them all on together. See how dim we can get the lights in here. These are very high current draw fans. They're between 2 and 3 amps running. More than that on startup. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to wait till that one quiets down for sure, as it will. I don't know if this six-blade fern leaf here works or not, um, but that would be another one that might be fun to get working. It's got newer sockets in it. This R&M, unfortunately, doesn't work. This is one of my first choices to power up. This is a DC fan here, so it takes some extra work. I'm going to show you guys, when Joe gets back so he can hold the camera, I'm going to show you this pedestal mount gyro. Two of them, really. Here's the deal. I don't know if this is AC or DC. Or this. I think those are DC. There's the deal. These R&Ms are very cool. A lot of belt drive fans here. Uh, Tom's going to have all those powered with a water motor, believe it or not. He just Joe actually just brought him the water motor. There's his water motor. It's actually designed to power belt drive fans from before there was electricity. So uh, this is one of my all-time favorites right here. Hatbox fan. This is the what the uh, Centennial is copying. This is another Westinghouse gyro just like that one, just in a different finish. This doesn't run yet, this GE pedestal fan, but it will. I don't think I can get everything all in one shot, but I can do a mass spin down anyways, and we'll at least see what we can see. So I'm hit all units off on the X10. Let's see if I can at least get all the ceiling fans in one shot. Yeah, I think I can get most of the stuff in this shot here. So, one side of the burgundy gyro stops first. One side of the cream gyro stopped second. That's because the belt drive drags those down considerably. Next up looks like the uh, Jandis gyro stopped next. Um, the Chicago one, the fan stopped spinning, but the centerpiece is still spinning. One side of the deal stopped. The other side of the deal stopped. The fern leaf stopped a while ago. I didn't actually notice when. Sidewinder's still going and the century's still going. Shot. Sidewinder's still going, Century's still going. Sidewinder's gonna stop first, I can tell. Okay, Sidewinder stopped, so it's just a Century left. Okay, since Joe's not back yet, I'm going to see if I can prop my phone somewhere and uh, <clears throat> power up these pedestal gyros. If I'd been smart, I would have just plugged them in before I started recording. Let's use this fan here as a stand. Let's see if I can prop it. How are we doing? How's it look? I have seen better.
put it in the cage of the fan. That'd be pretty cool if I could, huh? No, it's not going to work. Let's just try on the shelf here. Can you see it? So the shelf's blocking the way. One more thing I'm going to try. I'm going to put it on the shelf over here. This is probably going to be my best bet, but let's just see here. I can't actually look at the viewfinder to see what you're seeing. I know you can see at least one of them. Can you see both? I can't tell. Let's try over here. If I can get both in one shot, like there. That's both. There we go. Sorry that took so many tries. Blame Joe. So I'm just gonna, we don't keep these plugged in, we just bring them out on special occasions so we can get an extension cord up and plug them in. I didn't even know they were ready to be ran because Kim just worked on them recently. So, uh, it's new to me. This will be my first time doing this. Kim plugged them in for some of, some of the visitors this week, though. So, I got to see uh, him do them up. But I, this is my first time doing them up. So, I'll demo this one first. Light. So, do a spin down. Wonder what all that clicking is. Do a spin down on this one. You can see that one's got the uh, belt drive. Let's turn all the overhead ones on too. I have a full house in here, a fanage. That's the way it's supposed to be, right? You don't want to fan these in without a lot of spinning fans, that's, that's no fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On. Seven didn't go on for some reason, there we go. Windy as it's going to get in there for now. Okay. Well, no need to turn all these off. I already did spin down on all of them, so. This is what Tom wanted me to show you. This is a Schwinn Airdyne bike fan. It's an exercise bike with a fan that cools you while you exercise. And the other cool thing to show you, I showed it in the warehouse tour, but I'll show you now. We added an antique ceiling fan here over the uh, 
restoration shop. It's an R&M from the 40s. It's got an integrated preheat fluorescent light. It's on a learning remote that's been modified. That is low. Oops, I changed it off by mistake. I meant to turn the light off. There we go. Sorry about that. That's what I get for trying to push buttons without seeing it. <clears throat> there is low, medium, high. Turn the light back on. And then we'll turn the belt fans on. We'll have just about everything on in the downstairs at least. Maybe if I try to pedal the exercise bike, then we'll have that on too. Let's see here. Okay. all the fans. Pretty cool, huh? And of course, you know, we got all the vintage fans upstairs powered, and so lots to see next time you come back to Fanimation. Thanks for watching.